But this point, we do this. Yep, bring it on, my friends. I know Johnny loves this part. I know Good Time loves this part. We all dance, Robbie. Yes, we dance. It's the Highlands. Woohoo! Robbie's, what the hell am I in right now? Like, what am I doing? Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, the morning loop reloaded. Mornings in the lab with Keith and friends. We're into our second hour here. We're talking endurance mindset, mind games, how to train your mind for endurance. If you missed the first hour, I invite you to go back. I also remind you guys, if you got kids in the room, you got kids in the car, you might want to just put some headset on, you might want to turn them down, you might want to listen to us later. We might drop some inappropriate language along the way. That's what we do here in the lab from time to time. But we started the show, guys. We started the show talking about relatability. And we started talking about how sometimes we look at other people, we look at athletes, we look at folks, and we don't know if we relate to them. And then today we learned that super strongman, super bodybuilder, super athlete John Anderson likes to enjoy his cigars. And I talk about my enjoyment for cannabis and so forth. So we're continuing to find conversations around relatability. And Richie had something he wanted to share before we ended the last segment. So Mr. Ingram, my friend, uh, yes, I'm looking at you, brother, but uh, we were talking about relatability on the first morning loop and you said, yeah, I got something I want to share that I maybe haven't shared. So uh, Ingram, what's, uh, what are you putting on the table today, brother? So I'll share two things. So yeah. one segue from the protein break. I love pizza. I probably eat it. Yeah. Rob, Robbie, Robbie can <laughs> tell you this when we're in Leadville, <laughs> there, there's this place, man. I, I, what was it? Rocky Mountain Pies, High Mountain Pies. I had a fucking large pizza and a Mediterranean salad like every day. And look, you want to get your fats in there? Just take some fucking olive oil and just dribble it on there and I, every day. And and so I know as far as protein goes, I don't eat a lot of protein, so I, I get it from the jug, man. I, that, that's just oh. how, I, how, I, how I do it. I supplement it. So that's one. The other one is I dip Copenhagen. And I fucking love it. And I, I don't want to quit. I don't want to quit. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to quit. Yeah, I don't want to quit. Now, I will That's say this. I yeah. love Rob, Rob, Robbie doesn't know this because uh -oh. I wasn't uh -oh. dipping in Leadville. Because when I was training this summer in Austin, the, the temperature in Austin, Texas is like 110 degrees. Well, nicotine plays a role in your body's thermal regulation. And so I noticed that I was getting more overheated than I normally otherwise would have. So literally I woke up one morning and I, and I realized this and I was like, all right, fuck it. I quit. And so I, I quit for two months just through Leadville. And after I got done with Leadville, I got back home. I was like, all right, let me get a fucking dip. For those that like don't, it. Richard, Richard, those that don't know, when you say dipping, dipping nicotine, what are you Copenhagen, doing? Copenhagen. Yeah, what are you doing there, Richie? Copenhagen long cut, man. I get the 10, I put that shit in my lip, and I fucking suck it down. Oh, and whenever I'm you heard it here? Yeah. I'll put it like right oh. here. Oh. And dude, I, I, and I'm telling you, we talk about getting into flow states. Yes. I, I, I can, all of a sudden, it's two hours later, I'm like, how long have I had this fucking dip in? I get focused, man, and I'm not going to lie and say I don't use it as a crutch. I'm sure I do at this point, but I just fucking like Nothing wrong with that, baby. Nothing yeah. wrong with that. I appreciate you sharing that. And that's the whole point of this, man. The fact that you just said, I like it because listen, man, you live a pretty disciplined life. You do your things. You're like, yeah, I don't mind. I don't mind sticking the Copenhagen in my mouth. And the fact that we've given you this safe form to do that, it make, just, I, I get a lot of joy to this. I see Christina's face. She's like, really? Oh my God, actually. So Robbie, what's that, Christina? I've been there. I've been there, I've been there Christina. I've been there. My my older brother, he was one up for me. He basically one day had this big pouch of beech nut and it smelled good. I'm like, what's that? He's like, you want some of this? I'm like, yeah, I want some of that. I remember a fat little boy. I thought it was candy. So he gives me a water and I put it and I'm chewing on it. He goes, yeah, chew on it for a little while. And then once it gets nice and juicy, tuck it over to the side of your mouth. And by the time it was nice and juicy, I'd swallowed probably four or five times. Oh. And he's about 10 minutes later, he goes, hey, by the way, don't swallow. And he knew what he was doing. <laughs> Oh, I was teaching you a lesson. I was Ooh. fucking no. He just was having fun with me. Oh, it was he wasn't trying to stop me. He just wanted to, dude. I remember it was like I it, we were, lived on a farm at that point. I remember going to the mechanical barn. It was this <laughs> floor of cement floor, and I just it was laid on. It took my shirt off, laid my back on there. It was cool, and I was like sick for hours. It was whoa. It was tough. I can relate to that, Johnny. I so my 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 family had farm in Saskatchewan, like my grandparents and everything, and my 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 Gigi and my grandparents, my uncles, they all snuff, they all chewed snuff, as we called it. And I remember the same situation, Henderson, which is like, hey Keith, you want to try this? Yeah, sure. 
So I, I put that shit in my lip, tucked it under my lip, and Richie, fuck man, did I get sick. Oh, oh man. Did I now, get sick after that experience. And I've never, I'll never forget it, and I've never done it again. I was like, that was the grossest thing in my life. Well, and, and I think the snuff, Rich, you correct me if I'm wrong, I think the snuff is the finely ground shit. Oh, I don't do yeah. that stuff. Yeah, that's, that's the stuff right there, man. It goes all over in your goddamn mouth because yeah, I have you show, experience you, with you, that too. You spit that out and you show up at an event and you just, it just looks like you, you got, looks like a you got, chocolate bar all over you. Yeah, nasty. And it's so fine, as potent as a mother. I got He got me with that one too. Oh. I, I think the, the, the biggest thing though is, is it affecting my performance in some way? Yeah, probably. Is pizza, if I cut that out, is it, would that make me a much better athlete? Yep, maybe. But not to the level, I could look at so many other things that are affecting my performance. I'm not at Robbie's level. I'm fine-tuning my nusha, right? So I enjoy these things. I enjoy where I'm at. I'm happy with where I'm at, and I'm going to keep fucking working hard. Now, again, w during the summer when I noticed that there was a noticeable difference in my thermal regulation, my performance, I'll just fucking quit. But just take that with a grain of salt. I, I think you just got to be smart about what you're doing and what your goals are. Marty, I know yesterday you made yourself relatable to, to Business Athlete Nation because you're like, yeah, I'm going for a fucking brunch every now and then. I'm hitting the brunch table every few Sundays. Uh, Marty, here's your chance for Vice Wednesday, sharing vices with Nation. Brighton, I'm coming to you next, brother. But uh, is there anything you want to reveal to the world? Like, all right, these guys are saying this shit. I'm saying this right now. Besides the fact you like to go hit up uh, the old brunches every now and then, Marty. I wouldn't say anything specific, man, but I indulge in, in a couple things. I, I master my domain. No, I'm playing. I'm uh, just playing. Uh, of course uh, you master. We all master our domain. That, Shit. That's not what I was going to say, but uh, that's no. That's, that's not advice. No, I, I, anybody says master. they don't master the domain is lying. And I know, I'm not calling you a liar, brother. No, I'm, I'm saying lying. anybody out there who doesn't have the nuts to admit they jerk off, you look yourself in the mirror and have some stones and be honest. <laughs> no, if I'm at an event, I'll, I'll have a drink if I'm out with my friends. Yeah. I love pizza. Every now and then I hit like a, I'll get some ice cream with a cold stone spot like that. I'm not going to crumble cookie though. That's the one place I won't go to. That's 800 <laughs> calories in a cookie. It's crazy. Yes, but I don't is. do that. Yes, but, uh, it is. Yeah. Yeah. And then I like every now and then I like sitting down watching shows or sports or something. I just sit down and. Be a not a lazy bum, but I just yes. sit down and enjoy myself, man. That's probably the extent of it. I don't have something like dip, though. I ain't. I'm not <laughs> dipping anything. <laughs> but hey, Marty, real cook. I bet when you do that couch time, you basically earned it. You did your shit. Yes. Oh, for it's sure. It's not yeah, like yeah. you're laying there going, "God, I need to get up and do this and that." He's for everybody listening. He earns that couch time. Absolutely. That's you, it. I, I, I wake up before John Anderson. There we go. <laughs> yeah. There before we go. That. Yeah. That's you know, it. I gotta, I gotta be honest. When I start, I was in the gym this morning doing my thing and doing my cardio. And I was thinking, oh, we're gonna talk about the morning loop, and I was like, relatability. And then I sent an order to Anderson, and this has turned into a great segment because Christina, it just continues to work. Like I'm, I'm really work where we are working hard, nation, to make ourselves continue to be relatable to you guys. And you started hearing what Johnny does, and Marty does, and Christina and myself. But Robbie, you know, listening to all this, and you're you are an elite endurance athlete. Like, are you just sitting back there? Pardon me, but. Are you just sitting back there judging all of us? You're like, you, you fuckers, man. You guys are doing this. You're doing this. I'm not doing any of that. Robbie, what's your uh, vice, brother? I'm judging you, of course, because your vice is... Oh, you were walking around with those sugar candies. I, I yeah. know. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm judging you because your vice is I'm not vice enough for me. They're so poisonous. <laughs> oh, we're, we're pussies. We're pussies over here. He's Come on, man. We're about some real shit. What's going on here? I like Rich... I like pizza. I live in Italy, right? So the only reason I wasn't joining you for your giant pizzas in, in Colorado is because they were offensive pizzas to a man who lives in Italy, right? <laughs> I eat pizzas at least a couple of times a week because like Marty with his time on the sofa, I'm earning it out on the trails on the streets. I love uh, candy just for the American. And, uh, that's probably my biggest vice. If I smiled now, you'd see this. I know. This, I What's your favorite candy, brother? What's the number one pick? I had a discussion. Hayden Hawks, one of my American athletes, was with us with his family recently, and I had to rank my top ten candy with his son. He's, that was his for three days. U.S. candy, I like the Sour Patch Kids, but I, really? I think they're pretty good. Those yeah, they're good. sugary. The Mike and Ike's are good. good. Uh, and the nerds, yeah, I like nerds and stuff good. like that. But anything, anything. I'm, I'll eat this in a race as well. So my my favorite is in Scandinavia. They do it well. They do they, the snuff. They're good at. Apparently, I don't partake. 
but their candy is world class. So yeah, Scandinavian candy is probably my biggest vice. Anybody tuning in right now to Mornings in the Lab with Keith and Friends, you're talking with a bunch of 12 year olds. We're talking Mike and Ike's, and we're talking candy here in the lab this morning. All the great candies to get you through life. But hey, we're going to continue our chat. We're going to pivot our conversation to a segment we call In the Gym with John and Marty. And today, boys, I think we're going to toss in Rich and Robbie into the gym with you guys. That's my thought. Let's go. We're going yeah. to throw Rich and Robbie into the gym with John and Marty and uh, let's cut them loose. Talk about training for endurance and uh, Richie, Robbie, I'm sure those questions you guys got for Johnny or Marty. I'm sure Richie and uh, Marty and Johnny got questions for Rich and Robbie, but uh, Rich, Robbie, we throw John and Marty into the gym. And as you guys know, John's lifted a few things in his life. Marty's trained a few clients in his life. So I thought, Hey, there's not a place in the planet. You're going to get a guy who is one of the world's strongest men. You're not going to get the guy who's one of the world's greatest trainers in the same room at the same time to get unfiltered 10, 12 minutes of conversation. So right now we're going to do in the gym with John and Marty. Keith and Christine are going to get off here and uh, let's do a, let's do a segment on endurance in the gym with John and Marty. And, uh, and uh, we'll come back here in about 10 minutes to continue the show. All right, guys, how does that sound? 